what, what do you make of the way in which that one closed out? It was a great game. When we were down and battled. Joe made two big threes and made another bucket. The next thing you know, it's tied, and he, we have a chance to win it at the end. And you know, I think Joe's uh, forty-something minutes, two nights in a row. You know, you know, maybe kept him from making the last shot on the move, but he got a good shot. And, and we played in an exhibition season. I mean, ex uh, <laughs> the extra session, they got some, uh, you know, big shots from Montellus, and. Uh, Eventually, they, they won the game because of uh, offensive rebounding and Monta made a big shot. Dirk made a big three. Channel Parsons made a big three. Just big picture on this game. I mean, the whole team went Dallas at 39%. And where did you, where'd, where'd you see on their defense? Just one game. What did you see, though, on your defense? I mean, that's what I said. I mean, we played good defense. We played good defense last night, but we had 84 points last night and 88 tonight, so their defense obviously was pretty good, too. And we shot 39% as well as they did. And, you know, the difference in the game was, you know, they got the 10 more shots uh, through the offensive rebounding, and uh, they made seven more threes. And you look at that, you know, that's the difference. On Joe's shot there in regulation, in regulation, was that the play you drew up for him, just kind of ISO? And just keep all of us just ISO in the middle of the court, let it all work. Hopefully, you know, if he did drive and they helped, we had Brooke in one corner, we had uh, Mears in another corner. Uh, Lionel, um, you guys scored 35 points in the first quarter and then uh, put up 47 or whatever. That was an aberration. I was going to say, <laughs> so in your, from your perspective, did, you know, was there something that you saw that accounted for the difference? We made shots. If you make shots and you execute and you don't turn the ball over, you have a chance to, to score. I mean, we've done it on a number of nights, but. Lately, we just uh, struggle. We struggle from the three-point line, and uh, we struggle just period making shots. Uh, and how about Brooke uh, in particular? He too was hot, you know, in the first quarter, and seemed to cool off as the game went on. Did you see anything that changed with him, or how they were guarding him, or anything like that that would account for that difference? No. But it's probably unreasonable to expect what we've seen from Joe in clutch situations the last two seasons. He made every single buzzer beat he took. This season, he's missed a few. Um, is there something you see? I mean, you're still just going to go. Well, to I wouldn't even go work. there with that because who tied the game up? Who made the two big Jared threes? Jack. No, who, who, who made the two? Oh, Joe sure did. <laughs> Thank you. I mean, it, without him, we're not in that position for Jared Jack to make the last shot to tie it up. Joe hit two big threes. He made another bucket at the basket. He carried us. And then Jared made the jumper in the lane to tie it up at uh, 90 or whatever it was at uh, 92. And so it's, uh, you know, you make some and you, and you, and you miss some. But the, the thing about Joe is he's not afraid to take them. Because when you miss, just like you just did, people say, well, you know, he's not making any clutch shots, but he's made them. I mean, they don't all have to be game winners, but you got to get there. And he got us there. Do, when you guys huddle up for that shot, does he say give me the ball, or is it just unspoken you're going to give it to Joe? I'm not going to say that. <laughs> <laughs> we'll talk about it afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> when I left her hand, man, looked man, good. looked good, felt good, uh, just a little short. What was the key to kind of getting these guys back in? You hit those two big threes. Well, we just had to keep playing. Uh, Obviously, we had a stretch run. You know, couldn't buy a bucket, I think, especially in that third quarter. But, you know, we finally got a little rhythm, you know, in that fourth quarter. We came back and tied it up and even took the lead. So, uh, you know, we gave ourselves a chance. Did, uh, did you ask Coach for the ball, or is one of the things we just drew up play up for you for that last shot in regulation? I don't, I don't think I had to ask for it. <laughs> it was kind of a given. So, you know, I mean, I understood, you know, I, I understood what we were doing and what we were trying to do. Uh, he had drew up a couple plays, but then he was like, you know what, forget it, just uh, make a play. That's what I'm trying to do. Uh, he mentioned that maybe back-to-back 40-minute -back games where you might have contributed to that shot from a little bit short. Do you think that might have been from a little bit? I don't know. This is, uh, this is what we're faced with, you know, so I, you know, I never make excuses. Man, I felt great, uh, and I thought we had a, a great chance of winning the game. And, 
I, sh I definitely hate I came up short. What would a win over these guys, you know, a top Western Conference team without Darren and without, you know, KG would have meant for you guys tonight? What that would have meant? Uh, it would have been big, man. You know, it, you know, first and foremost, we want to always protect our house, and uh, you know, that's probably the most disappointing thing. You know, letting teams come in and get wins, but uh, you know, I thought we fought, and uh, other guys stepped up and made plays defensively. I thought we were solid. And, uh, you know, they, 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 they made shots down the stretch. Not only that, when they did miss, they got the offensive rebound. So, you know, it just kind of hurt us tonight. Joe, you've been so – you've made so many of those shots the last couple of years. You missed a couple of this year. Is your confidence ever waver in that spot, or is it just a matter of – uh, Never. Never. You know, I think the thing is, uh, over the past couple of years, you know, our percentage has been so high in those situations. And, you know, now uh, – I think I'm probably 0 for 2 in game wins this year. So, you know, I, I mean, I'm, I'm going to keep the confidence and, 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 you know, keep stepping up in those situations and trying to make plays. I know you've seen it before from Rook, but to score 18 points, double double in the first half, does that show what he is capable of doing when he plays that aggressive? Yeah, he was great. Uh, and, man, I wish he would have got 45 tonight. Uh, but, you know, the, the one thing I was trying to do when we came out to start was to, you know, mainly get him involved early, and uh, once he got rolling, man, it wasn't it wasn't no stopping him in that first quarter. He he was unbelievable, uh, rebounding, altering shots, uh, scoring. So that's I mean that's who that's that's who we need out of. He said he he at, at one point he wanted to make sure he didn't force stuff a little bit too much. I mean, for a big guy, you got the teammates. How do you make sure you keep his confidence going and, and you know let him kind of get down himself? He missed a couple of shots and say so you think he's forcing stuff out there. No, when you got the hot hand like he had it in. Just go, you know. That's you know. I, I think uh, we done a great job in picking roles and getting him in the spots to where he was very effective. You know, then rather than just throwing the ball down into him, make, making him have to go make a play, which you can do that at times. But you know, I think he, he's so great in picking pop, shooting the 15, 18 footer. I mean, he even shot a three pointer once a night. Mm -hmm. So, you know, those those are those are his strengths, and uh, we got to try to use them. I know Hans has been very tough on him from the start. Do you think it's having an effect on him in terms of the rebounding, especially because in the last few games he's been getting his double doubles and averaging ten rebounds? Yeah, uh, I, I don't know. I think uh, you know, coach has just just been uh, been riding him to, to to rebound and be more dominant in the paint. And uh, you know, it's all these acts, and you know, Brooke has responded and. You know, uh, rebounding the basketball, and blocking shots, and, and, and doing what a big man does. So, you know, when he's uh, when he's playing like that, it makes us a better team. Thanks, Joe. Appreciate it, man. Thanks, Joe. Florida, I put you guys up. You thinking that after the game is over, you think you guys maybe got this game tonight? Um, I'm just really just thinking one more stop. You know, we had, we had you know been able to get multiple stops in a row down the stretch, and uh, I'm just thinking that we can put one more good possession together, good defense, and uh, you know that'll put us over the top. Sure, just for you in general, especially the second half, 16 points, five assists. What was, what was going through your mind just working so well for the allowed you to, to kind of take things over and help lead the comeback? Just to be more aggressive. Um, you know, I was kind of talking with uh, Coach Humphrey earlier, and uh, just over the past couple of games, I think I wasn't really, you know, looking to be aggressive, um, you know, to get myself in. Um, so that was kind of my mindset coming out in the second half. Big picture, a game like this, um, the way it closed, but to how you guys did fight at the end, what do you take from it and, and just try and, you know, carry over to this next one? I mean, we're not a team, uh, you know, going out looking for more victories, but, you know, I mean, we showed some fights, showed some resiliency. Um, you know, we could have given up there. They were very talented ball club. Um, they hit some tough shots down the stretch. Went up double digits late in the fourth quarter, but, um, you know, we kept going. We kept fighting, kept fighting, and, um, you know, gave ourselves an opportunity to win it in. What do you have to do against Detroit, which is suddenly a very improved team, to not have the snowball? Uh, just come out, establish tempo, um, and just play Brooklyn in basketball. You know, establish tempo, be physical, um, you know, set the tone early, and then, uh, you know, try to put it together for as close to 48 minutes as you can. When Joe shoots that shot at a regulation, I mean, shoot him, shoot many that go in, you think that's, that's good? Yeah, I mean, it's an amazing look. You know, um, knowing Joe, I know he was going to get the guy right where he right really wanted him. Uh, turn, got the good look off. I mean, I, I thought the ball was in just, you know, it was a little bit short hit the front of the rim, but I thought it was a great shot nonetheless. Thanks, man. No problem. Um, I think uh, we just 
one of their Hornet. Um, you know, it, we, we took a shot so we don't want to make it, just didn't go in. And uh, in the second half, they made a run and uh, we responded. Mace did a great job. Uh, Jack was out there doing his thing, Joe was doing his thing. And uh, we got back into it. You know, it, uh, the game went back and forth. You know, they had runs, we had runs. And we, uh, we just came up short. But when you come out so hot and aggressive like we did in the first quarter, is it on you to stay that aggressive or was it a change in game plan? Like, yeah, you know, I, um, you know I, I didn't want to really try to force anything. You know, I did a couple times, but like I said, Jack got going, Joe got going. We, we have lots of guys that can contribute on this team. And, uh, Definitely don't want to get in the way of that. Yeah, well, I thought we got off to a great start. I thought Brooke looked amazing in the first quarter. Um, and we just let him back in the game. I think we, uh, we let up, thought it would be easier than it was. And, um, you know, and then we're fine from behind in the fourth. We get back in and send it to overtime. And, um, you know, in overtime, you got to make plays and didn't make enough of them. That's how it is. Yeah, how do you describe just these lulls offensively that you guys have had and, and oftentimes here at home? Well, it's, um, you know, we have to figure it out. I don't know what it is, but um, at this point in the season, you can't have stretches. You can't have whole quarters where you don't score the basketball. So, um, you know, we didn't shoot it well tonight, but, you know, we have to recognize it. In front of three anyway, we didn't shoot it well. I have to recognize that and get to the free throw line or attack the basket or do something different. When you guys get the ball to Joe at the end of regulation like that, do you also expect it to go in? Yeah, I mean, he's one of the best in those situations. Um, you know, that's – everybody knows we're going to him. So, um, you know, he got a great look at it, almost went down, but uh, we like that situation. Hey, so what happened on that drive there? Ellis, they called a foul, I believe, on you there. Yeah. What did you see that play there? No, I don't want to say anything. I don't want to do um, You know, I felt like I was uh, thrown into him a little bit, but – you know, the calls, we, we had enough chances to make plays. Um, you know, if I get one rebound in, in that last possession, we're going back the other way with a chance to make it a one possession game. So, you know, that player and I learned plenty. Um, you know, going down on the break, whatever that was offensively. And it was just, um, we had our, our chances and, and they won. They played well. Uh, next up on uh, Wednesday night, Detroit. Important not to let this losing streak uh, stretch into something bigger. Yeah, no question. Yeah, and they're and they're playing very well. They're it's a different Pistons team, so we have to come ready to play. You guys are on 